Hey everybody and welcome to the Bullshit Party! And in this video we're gonna be discussing the topic of the new drift races in GT Online. How, where and why? Uh, everything's gonna be answered in this video, so stay tuned! So, the first thing I want to mention is that you can start the drift races from two different places. As you can see here, you can start them either from their official online races component, which is located right over here in the online tab in GT Online. So, these are all the drift races you can choose from. So, take a good look. These are all the ones available at launch. And by the way, spoiler alert, all of them are incredibly fun. And the second way to start them is through this interaction menu from the jobs list because they are new events. Rockstar is just pushing them like crazy right now. But that's not a problem because, as I said, they are a lot of fun. Now, after you accept an invitation for a drift race, you're going to be greeted by this screen. And by the way, I'm playing in an invite only session, but that doesn't matter. As you can see, I'm still getting the invites. Now, the drift races are from 1 to 8 players. 1 I don't think is gonna be a lot of fun, but 8 is a blast. And before we get to the actual race, a quick word from this video sponsor, JG Gaming. And right now, because of the new DLC, JG Gaming is having a side-wide discount on everything. So if you're looking for some extra cash for GT Online to buy that new good content, maybe a couple of vehicles, maybe a couple of properties, or maybe the new garage. JG Gaming works on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox, the old and the new generation version of the game. And right now, as I said, they're having a side-wide discount on everything. And to get the full discount, either use the link in the description of the video or just upon checkout, use promo code BULLSHEEP. Thanks to JG Gaming for sponsoring the video. Now back to drifting races. And we are starting off with what are the requirements? First and foremost, the default option is to have non-collision for the drift races. And that's going to make a lot of sense when you actually see what the drift races are. Once again, incredibly fun. And even though here, custom vehicles are accepted, you can make a custom vehicle in the Los Santos car meet, but I'm gonna play with a Drift Yosemite, a stock one. And even though this is my first race, I think I did pretty good for myself and I continue to improve the more I understood the mechanics of the game. And this is why I made this video. So you can start off as just being not good, but great. And here is the first race we're gonna watch, and uh, it looks like a pretty normal race, except for the awesome custom vehicles. But in any case, you still have the uh, boost that you can get if you press the gas pedal at this exact time when it says go. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's very slippery the way the vehicle behaves. And I have a few pointers, as you can see, I just lost my modifier, and that plays a big part in how the game scores your points. Uh, so the modifier is a big deal, uh, but for now just admire the way each vehicle moves. Um, I can almost describe the way the vehicle moves is kind of a slow motion-ish effect. It doesn't move this way in the regular free roam session. Now, I don't know what Rockstar did here, but it's really fun. It, it really makes sense for drifting. Um, but the main thing about drifting is keeping the modifier high. Of course it is bullshit. That's not... Um, a brainer, uh, but um, no, it's it's uh, better than that because if you crash somewhere You're not only using the modifier, but it, but you're also using your drift score as you can see right now My drift score is 300 and the modifier is 1.5. I crash and I lose everything So imagine this I, I at some point I believe in this clip in my first race I was at a modifier five times and I was at about, I believe, 30,000 drift points, which was going to put me in the lead. Actually, I was going to win the race if I didn't crash. So uh, yeah, keep in mind the modifier is really, really a big deal. It's better to just break as opposed to, uh, you know, try to drift in a risky way and risk losing your entire score. So that's basically what you're doing. The unsaved score is lost. The drift, as you can see, the drift points are not the current score so they can be lost at any point in time so that's a pretty big deal one thing that i don't like about this interface is that you can't see how behind you are on points that you can if you press the um you know the uh, uh down button the down arrow on the joystick but that's just too much work for uh you know for an intensive race like this one piece of advice that i want to give you here is keep cool um, it's not a race in the usual sense of the word where the first one crossing the line is the guy that's gonna win It's actually you may be the last guy to finish the race and you can still 
uh, you know, come out first, if that makes sense. One other thing that I wished I knew when I first started drifting, which was well, three races ago, but still, it's a good piece of information, is that uh, the green zones, as you will see right here in the map, you see the green zone, those are extra points, and you need to keep uh, very close attention to those because they are more difficult, yes, but they also give you more points. I believe it's double the regular points. So you're going to be able to fill up your multiplier faster, and at the end of the day, the multiplier is going to be the thing that decides if you're going to win the race or not, because it is the... Um, as I keep saying, the multiplier. Now, you see here how much more difficult it is to squeeze through these tight corners. And you see, I'm just paying attention, uh, taking my time, not rushing anything, at least trying not to rush anything. And the goal here is, as I said, keep slow, keep cool. Don't uh, try to do things that you're not very certain of. It's better to be slow and steady and win the race that way or maybe become second or third. That's still good money and it's still a lot of fun. And um, I am basically using the brake here very sparingly. Uh, I have probably used the brake two or three times over the entire race from what I recall. Uh, it's basically um, feathering the throttle, if that makes sense. You're playing with how much pressure you're putting on the uh, throttle. Um, trigger and I cannot stress this enough Rockstar just nailed drift races I don't think I've had this much fun in a game drifting since uh, Need for Speed 2015 I believe it was where it was just Need for Speed that game also did drifting well uh, but in GT Online right now what we're experiencing is just a renaissance of just a cool mechanic and as you can see in just a little bit I came out a little bit short I finished third here uh, but that's not a problem because I'm in my second race I actually finished second and on my third race well we're actually gonna go watch it in just a little bit um, but for now as promised here is my second race and again I press the gas pedal and go I hit this lady I don't know why my bad uh, but as I said the goal is going slow here just make cool white turns drift this is the name of the game you don't need to be first in order to win if you know what i mean so very 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 much pay attention to obstacles poles um there is also a modifier if you go very close to barriers like the one that i'm about to pass on the left and on the right the bonus is a thousand points, which is not a lot, but if you have a five time modifier, that's 5,000 points. And in a race that usually ends around 140, 130,000 points at this point, uh, well, that's, uh, that's kind of a lot. And uh, hopefully with the knowledge that I'm giving you with this video, you're going to be able to not only perform well in drift races, but you're also going to be able to have a lot of fun. I have no idea how I didn't crash over there, but uh, well, I did crash here, so I kind of compensated for that. Uh, <laughs> I feel with these drift races, Rockstar are testing the water for something big they're going to do in GTA 6. Uh, as you saw in the trailer, we're going to have... Uh, well, drift races, underground drift races in GTA 6. So I'm assuming the mechanic is going to be kind of the same. So they're probably using very similar physics systems for how the vehicles are going to behave. So I'm really excited for that. And if this is an indicator to what's to come in GTA 6, I'm really looking forward to it. If you probably, uh, if you paid attention, you saw that I got a thousand point modifier when I went close to the barrier. And I don't want to bore you with this video, so let's just go to the next race. I basically finished second, and this was my third race, and I was feeling confident uh, because the th the first race I went uh, third, the second one I did second, and this one I felt like I was going to win, so I also bet on myself about $1,000, which was uh, the maximum. And if you're paying attention, I'm still playing with a default, with a stock uh, Drift Yosemite, which in my opinion, is the best drifting vehicle in the entire game, and this actually kind of proves it. I haven't driven any other vehicle for drift races, but I love how the Drift Yosemite feels when you're playing an open world, and uh, it actually feels much better here. Uh, once again, I got the uh, boost at the beginning of the race, and we are well, off to the races! And uh, once again, keep it slow, keep it steady, try not to crash um, if uh, you need to, it's better to press the brake, it's better to uh, give a little bit more gas just to avoid obstacles as opposed to risking something and uh, crashing your huge modifier. Even if it's uh, 2.5, uh, 3,000 points, that's still a lot of points. That's what, like seven, 8,000 points? 
not bad. And to skip a little bit ahead, this is near the end of the race and as you can see I am in first place and I will continue to be in first place because, well, I actually won this one. Uh, so yeah, hopefully these uh, tricks and these uh, guides helped you with how you're going to structure your game when it comes to drift races. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if uh, what I just told you is good information or if you already knew this for whatever reason. But just please don't be like this guy and uh, know how to drift and know how to have fun with this because this is an incredible mechanic that Frostar gave us and I really can't um, put into words how much fun drifting is inside these races hopefully uh, this is gonna come to free roam as well but for now let's just enjoy the races thank you so much for watching let me know in the comment section down below if you've tried drift races before and what do you think of them please like subscribe consider becoming a channel member and i will catch you all in the next one